Were the very first stars in our universe born alone, or did they arrive as twins? New evidence suggests that the cosmic dawn may have been lit not by solitary giants, but by pairs of stars whose partnership shaped the galaxies we see today. For decades, scientists imagined them as massive, lonely beacons. But new simulations hint that many may have formed in pairs, orbiting each other in a delicate cosmic dance. Here's why binaries matter. Binary stars change everything. When two stars orbit, their gravity reshapes how they burn, how they explode, and even what they leave behind. Instead of predictable supernovae, binaries can trigger exotic explosions, creating seeds for black holes much earlier than expected. Let's look into the black hole seeds. These early black holes may have merged and grown into the supermassive giants we find at the centers of galaxies today. Without binaries, the timeline for black hole growth looks far slower. With binaries, the universe may have had shortcuts to building its cosmic monsters. What's the evidence behind this? Computer models and telescope data now suggest binary formation was common. The James Webb Space Telescope is already peering back into this ancient era, searching for signs of paired stars. If confirmed, it would rewrite our story of how light first pierced the cosmic darkness. The first stars likely formed in pairs because dense early gas clouds fragmented under turbulence and rotation. Binary stars created exotic events, mass transfer hypernovae, early black hole mergers. We see their chemical traces in ancient Milky Way stars. If binaries were common, early cosmic evolution was far faster and more energetic. So maybe the first stars weren't lonely giants, but cosmic partnerships that shaped everything we know. If the universe itself began with pairs, what does that say about the power of connection in our own lives?